Welcome to the Rumble Rewind podcast, bringing you all the latest information from the RKL universe. Join us every other Thursday from 3 p.m. ET, where we talk about all things RKL. Make sure you hop onto the Spaces Live to ask your Rumble Kong question. Without further ado, let's begin today's episode. Good day, everyone, and welcome back to another Twitter Spaces. My name is Abe Andix, as Direct said. I am the Digital Content Manager here at RKL. If you are new to the Rumble Kong League, welcome to our bi-weekly Twitter hideout. To give you all some context, every two weeks the team gets together to update all the Kongs on everything that's been happening in the world of Rumble Kong League. Today I am joined by co-founders Nick and Marcus, community manager Vapor, and of course, head of partnerships, Connor. If you have any questions for the team, we will be open for Q&A at the end of the updates segment. So just request to speak. And of course, you can ask your Rumble Kong question. Without further ado, I will leave you in the capable hands of the rest of the team for any updates on Rumble Kong. Take it away, guys. There's always a... How can you follow that? I don't know. It's, a... <laughs> it's, like, it's like I said, I've been... I used to work in retail before this, so I am... Uh, I used to do, like, the announcements on Atana, like, every day. So I used to just, like, read the script off my phone because I was so scared that I would get it wrong. So <laughs> so there you go. I don't know. N- Nick, I don't know if you want to kick things off with some of the updates it. that have been happening. I'll just uh, retweet some <laughs> yeah. of the – share some of the tweets on here as well so everybody can see them. Yeah, definitely. So um, a lot going on since the last time we jumped on in the Twitter space. A lot of teasers, a lot of visuals, videos – pictures, images, all kinds of stuff that we're starting to share, which we're super pumped to to finally be rolling out to a lot of you guys. Um, the first one um, was obviously probably the biggest, is the latest game update video. Uh, so maybe if you could pin that up there, um, Apendix. Um, we, what did we show in there? We showed quite a bit in the actual game update video. We showed the main menu progress, player profile overview, the avatar customization, which is like the first real sneak peek of that, the game UI setup, um, stat screens, basically just a lot of work in progress, screens of the actual client as things are starting to come to life, um, which we'd love all your feedback if you didn't drop it already down there. You know, we, we take everyone's feedback super, super close to heart and, and, and we view it all, um, whether we reply or not and um, pass a lot of the, you know, great ideas along things we need to rethink about all these kind of things everything's a work in progress we're all building this with you guys of course um the second one uh we shared a put it put together a pretty nice video of the history of rkl uh, which we thought was a good little piece for people to kind of get an idea of you know where rkl came from what it's about who's behind it something that you can kind of share with people when they ask hey what is rkl what's going on uh, what is you know what is this universe that's being built out just just kind of a brief little sneak peek and you know, we have a lot more videos similar that are kind of small little explainers and teasers coming in the pipeline as well um the third one is the city of athlos so um as we touched on last um, two weeks ago in our space, we started sharing a little bit of behind the scenes of the lore and the lore building. You know, what what is RKL? Where does it take place? Um, where is this arena? Where is this universe? What planet is it on? All these kind of open questions that, that you know, we haven't shared to date um, that we've kind of been planning since the start of like, you know, what is this? So we gave the first, first sneak peek there at Athlos. Um, Athlos. Um, is for all of your interpretations. Uh, we have some things we'll probably share at the end of this space, I think. There's a couple of tricks up our sleeve uh, that I'm pumped for all of you guys to actually see and start um, interacting with is, is where I'll leave that. Um, anything you want to jump in there? Um, Vapor or Appendix on any of those points before I keep going? Um. Uh, obviously, the the history of the RKL video. Uh, we're going to be looking to do a lot more educational content for people in the space. Uh, you know, even people who aren't in the uh, Rumble Kong League ecosystem. So again, if anybody's got any ideas for any content like the video I've posted, or you've got any feedback on that in general, uh, please drop me a DM um, at Ape and X, uh, and because I'd love to hear from you guys as well. So that's all I'd probably have to say on that bit. 
And for me, the only other thing is all the clubs that are out there, if you haven't already, make sure you send me some information regarding your clubs, what you're looking for in terms of Kongs or personnel um, to help you build out. Um, I'm starting to build together a, a, a sort of a, a booklet of all the different clubs and what they're looking for and what they're about. So if you haven't done that already, then get that to me. Awesome. Cool. So moving on to the next points, NFT NYC. Um, as we all, as, as hopefully most of you guys know by now, uh, we'll be having a pretty fun, cool, uh, kind of late evening casual event on on the 22nd of June. Um, so we're super, super pumped. Uh, direct shared a little sneak peek of the venue that, that it will be held at. Um, I think some people figured out what, what venue it's actually from. Um, and we we strategically chose this because it's obviously close to the event um it's kind of got indoor outdoor it's going to be a super fun night for everyone to to celebrate rkl celebrate everything to date um meet the team the entire team in person it's actually the first time all of the teams are going to meet in in person which which we're um we're excited about so definitely make sure you make it out to the event put it on your calendar june 22nd we'll be sharing more details about that in the coming week um how you can how you can attend um, when it is timing wise, um, things like that. So, so stay tuned there. But we're we're pumped to meet meet some of you guys in person for the first time. Um, next, we just shared an update this week about um, the customization. I know I touched on that a little bit. I wanted to point out in that kind of UI customization screen, we had some questions about you know we use some of the three D placeholder traits that are actual traits on the Kongs. I wanted to to make it clear here on the spaces that. Those existing 3D traits are placeholders. You'll you'll not be able to actually customize, you know, traits that belong to a Kong. The only things you'll be able to customize in game are entirely new cosmetics, branded collaborations, um, new new wearables that are entering the ecosystem, rather than you know the actual traits of the Kong. Those will never change, of course. Those are the OG traits. They'll always be untouched. Can't be modified. Um, we we just kind of use those as, as placeholders to not give away any of the, the future wearables and things like that. Um, another major thing we just announced today is the Art Kong test. If you guys were around for the first Art, Art Kong test, uh, what, five months ago maybe or so now, maybe even more, um, it was incredible. Like it blew us away. Um, maybe maybe a band you can dig it's pretty far back might not be able to find it we have a video of all the all the winners um from way back and i mean we saw things from real life you know like graffiti art to 3d models to animations music um clothes all kinds of stuff like it, it was actually mind-blowing how much talent is hiding within the rkl community and we always say we have one of the most talented and in, in, in creative communities but I, I truly do believe that i mean the I don't think there's ever been a community with this much uh, different, like different realms of talent and creativity within. So we're we're very excited to be announcing um, and launching the second art context. Um, and you know, that being said, we're, we're going a lot bigger, right? There's thirty thousand dollars in prizes in total um, across four categories. Um, you know, previously we did pretty much three winners. We left it down to a vote, um, but I think a lot of different areas of talent we saw that we didn't expect to see so we want to make sure we do that justice those four categories are 2d design 3d design animated 2d 3d and then music um, so within each of those um, each first place in all of those will, will receive a, a kong as well as a cash prize of three thousand dollars all the second places will receive fifteen hundred dollars and some rkl sneakers and then third place will receive $500 um, and RKL sneakers as well. All those paid out in, in USDC, of course. Um, judging wise, the top um, five will be selected by all of the core team, um, which is uh, six of us rather. Um, and then Sick Pencil will actually pick the final winners. Um, he'll give it his his creative art eye and, um, and, and, and select those. They'll also be hung up and, and displayed, whatever those wind up being, whether a video, a, you know, a piece of art, a statue, whatever it is, um, they'll actually be displayed at NFT NYC at the event, which which will be cool for all of you guys to kind of see, see this digital contest come to life as well. So make sure to get involved. There's details in that post. Um, I mean, it's it's a great opportunity, especially in a in a slower market. Why not Why not get a little more involved, right? Um, awesome. 
maybe I'll pass it to, I think Connor's up here. If you maybe want to touch on the NFTBA um, partnership that we announced as well. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, um, I know that some of the Kongs have been seeing some smaller activations that have been, been coming up and some smaller partnerships that we've announced that fit our culture, fit our community, um, and fit kind of our mission and vision. So, you know, NFT BA is a really awesome project that we've partnered with um, and are sending a team to. So I'm very, very excited to be on site as well. I, I definitely would like to applaud any Kongs uh, to come out and hang out with me and that team and cheer everybody on. Um, if, Antics, if you want to put that tweet up, I believe it's on the 18th of June from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Um, and that will be um, in Columbus Park in New York City. So uh, I just got a sneak peek at what the jerseys look like, and I am very, very excited uh, to share that with the rest of the Kongs. And, you know, in another partnership that we've got coming up, the Ticket Partnership, we recently just did a trivia night in our Discord. And we see the vision of what the ticket has to offer. Um, another sports-oriented project. The team's really amazing. And uh, we got one of our Kongs to get some uh, game tickets in their local market. So we're figuring out the winners on that. And we can't wait to see you post something like that. There's a lot of other stuff that we got in the works partnership-wise. Um, but just can't really give anything uh, too much yet to you guys. So that's all I got on our end for the partnership side. I don't envy your job because no matter what you're doing, you can't give anything away. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty so much. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy it's though a, how many updates we've had though since the last one. Yeah, it's a, it's a blessing and a curse because I feel like every week and it's like, you know, things 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 are going and and then I'm just like, yeah, well, that's what I got. Can't really share anything. Sorry. But just just know that I'm really working for you guys and the whole team can attest that as well too. So uh don't think I'm just stopping at what I've got coming into um, the view for you guys now. There's a lot of other things I'm working on behind the scenes. Definitely. Cool. Um, I think that's the bulk of the updates, unless there's anything I missed. Um, outside of, of course, we're going to open it up to questions. And um, we, think we have a little something to share as well um, that we're excited about. But those are kind of at least, at least the bulk of the things um, that have been shared on the agenda so far for, the, for since the last spaces. Um, I'd also love to just touch on clubs. Um, I know we've been attending at least one of us each week, usually more, been attending those kind of club weekly um, meetings, which has been awesome. I attended one a couple of weeks ago. I think, um, I think Connor, you and in, in direct were there this week, if I'm not mistaken. I, uh, I popped in for a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, which is awesome to see. I mean, I just wanted to give like a special shout out to all the clubs building. You know, we're seeing them all. Primitive, Empire Kongs, uh, Seattle Super Kongs, uh, you know, Coastal. I don't have to name them all. I mean, there's there's so many. And we're trying to retweet all your content, all the cool ways you're introducing Kongs that are officially getting signed. Um, videos, teasers, like branded personalities. Um, it's, it's awesome to see it start coming to life. And uh, to that note, I also want to make... Um, just a message that if, if you are a Kong, you're looking for a club, make sure to reach out to some of these clubs. We retweet a lot of them, um, see which one kind of fits your vibe, get involved, throw out a tweet out there that you're looking for a club. We'll get it retweeted, and I'm sure there'll be plenty of clubs approaching you as if you're you know, entering a car sales lot or something. So make sure to, uh, to get involved is my point. And, and, and to go back off of that point too, Nick, I know Vapor and I have been talking, and in the last uh, club meeting that was happened – there, I want to open a dialogue up with club owners um, that we can start talking about branding and some different partnerships and what that might look like and how RKL as a league will help and support uh, our clubs. So just be on the lookout for that as well. Awesome. Well, I think we can open it up for questions unless there's anything else on, on anyone's front uh, that they want to touch on really quick. No, no, I think we've covered everything. I was just looking there. There's been so many updates since the last Twitter spaces. It's insane. But um, let me see who we've got. So we've got uh, little JPEG. Um, what is your Rumble Con question? Hey, thanks, guys. Um, I've been in the community for a couple of months now. I, I was fortunate enough to uh, buy a couple of Kongs on the dip. Um, I was eyeing it for a long time. I was happy to get in. My question is, um, I, it seems like the, the main... Uh, focus of the collection is to develop the game. I wanted to know what is the is the timeline looking like on the the completion of the game, <clears throat> or some milestones leading up to the game. 
Yeah, definitely. So the game has been our core focus definitely since day one. I mean, there's obviously a lot of layers and a lot of moving parts to RKL, but at its core and heart, everything we're doing is focused around creating a fun and engaging game first with NFTs and the ability to earn second, right? Um, and so we're, we're currently on track still on our on our game development side um, for that kind of late Q3, early Q4, um, fu- early functionality, kind of early alpha, um, starting to roll out that client to also some some like holders, uh, special groups. We'll see how we end up doing it. We haven't truly decided, um, but we are we're also on track from the latest updates we've given um, with with the game. So the towards the end of the year here is is going to get really exciting um, as as things start to come to life. And you'll see that through a lot of the visuals we're starting to share. Um, you know, we're starting to share a lot more of some of the behind the scenes, even on like UI work, all these these kind of like things you can actually see rather than back end infrastructure work. Um, so it's it's fully on track. And uh, and another quick question. Um, so you said the end of Q three is is the goal. Um, when we talk about the end of Q three, is that like for a beta version of the game? Is that the uh, the fully functioning um, last last rendition of the game, or, or or what would that be? Yeah, so it's it's definitely early alpha, um, and kind of what that means is there's not going to be you know full club functionality in that. There's not going to be full like multiple game mode functionality it's mainly going to be around core loop validation that's us you know getting some of you guys on it for the first time to really validate the core loop see if we need to make certain adjustments um, before we start going a lot wider Um, so it's it's going to be a lot of validation is what i'll say and we're um you know uh, a lot of time right now spent on tokenomics as well and as is is obviously leading up that charge um, on the entire economy design and so leading up before that is obviously going to be, you know, the token conversation and then how and if we'll introduce, you know, smaller earned components um, to that initial version, what that might look like, all these kind of things. So there's, there's a lot of balancing being done right now, but but that version is definitely an early alpha kind of core loop validation. And if, if I may ask one more question, um, I noticed that a couple of the uh, main uh, team members have uh, previous experience with the central land. I want to know is is there any um like how might that benefit how might there be synergy between that experience with the central land and them coming over to work with Rumble Kongs, if any? Um so I think I think you mean sandbox. So myself in Sandbox, sandbox, excuse me. Yep. So myself in, in direct who who jumped out, uh, we're both from the sandbox. I was there uh, very early on, I was there about two and a half years. Uh, Marcus spent about a year and a half there. As well, that's actually where where him and I met, and half of our team started kind of coming together. Um, but we're you know we're we're super close to the team over there. They're huge supporters, they're advisors to Rumble Kongs. Um, so there's there's definitely a lot of synergies and collabs to be had. We obviously did the Snoop Dogg collab. Um, I'm sure there'll be other collaborations because they're 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 kind of family. Um, but you know we're we're huge fans of interoperability um, as a whole. But it'll it'll obviously take some time for everyone to get there because you know sandbox is building we're building how that might look in the future um with potential overlap we'll we'll see but rkl as its whole is a standalone ecosystem standalone game standalone universe um, completely separate all right thanks a lot i appreciate the time thank you guys thanks for coming up Feel free to also, if you don't want to come up and talk, drop a question in the in the Discord. Um, we're, we're watching there as well. If you just want to ask something quick. Not many people coming up today. Obviously, all looking forward to other stuff that we might be talking about today, but. Uh, go just as you see as well there's somebody uh, joining there mate. so uh we've got we've got adam next um i think he's just connecting at the minute so i'll give it a second oh and then we've got uh, we've got two now we've got charlie as well i'll let add him but yeah like nick said as well if you um if you want to ask any questions we're gonna i saw it yeah. on the discord 
question in the Discord. Tell us everything about Athlos. Um, <laughs> what, what I'll say there is, I'd love for you guys to tell us everything you think about Athlos. I mean, I think I think you should definitely be looking closely. There's a lot going on there. Uh, There's something we're going to maybe share. We'll see. We'll see how the how we're feeling at the end of this space is, and um, that'll definitely get your minds moving. Definitely. There we go. So, uh, Adam, you're up there. Hey, your yeah. Local question. Yeah, sorry, I have bad connection. But my question was, uh, have you guys considered, like, expanding the collection to, like, uh, how the World of Women Galaxy or the Mutant Apes to uh, get more people exposed to the collection that didn't have a chance? If you guys considered that at all? Yeah, so uh, I think something we usually touch on is kind of these three tiers of play that we always um, we always explain, which, you know, I can see how, you know, the biggest question is always, we're building a game, right? So how do you build a fun, engaging game played by millions of people worldwide with, with 10,000 NFTs, right? Um, so we really think about it in three tiers. The top tier being the, the league, the Rumble Kong League, the Kongs will never be any more. The OG Genesis, this is like your your... This is like your NBA, right? This is the highest level of play, um, your tournaments, all, all these kind of like deep and engagement ways. Up top, in the middle, we have this kind of interoperable layer, we call it, which is what does it look like if, if a, you know, Bored Abe can play, if a Cool Cat can play, um, how does that look? Smaller earn components, um, ability to kind of bring in and have a composable avatar of sorts, um, but uh, you know, there's, there's a lot to dive into there. And then on the bottom layer is how do we appeal to everyone's grandma, right? To to the 10-year-old who doesn't necessarily want to care about NFTs or a wallet and kind of pill them on what is a blockchain? What is a wallet? What is an NFT? How do I own a digital asset? Um, and that layer is really anyone can play. They can come in, they can play the game. Uh, they obviously can't earn, they can't own assets, um, but then we have, you know, kind of an onboarding system for them to be able to um, actually be onboarded to a wallet and, and how that looks, which is more of an account, right? And, you know, you're going to have, I think, a lot of different balancing and levels of interactions within blockchain games in general, because there's probably a lot of gamers out there who don't necessarily care about blockchains, right? Gamers hate NFTs in the current landscape because of... Um, because of the 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 education is is my thesis personally, um, and so a lot of what we're building around the game functionality is being able to cater to the multiple different levels of markets um, and different engagement within those. Which I know I, I went a little off topic of your question, but I think it's very relevant for how the actual player base expands. Uh, but that's kind of all I'll say there. Gotcha. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming up. Yeah, thanks for that, man. All right, um, next up we've got uh, Charlie. What is your Rumble Con question? Hey, what's up? What's up, everyone? Uh, I just hey, how's it going? Ask, thanks. I wanted to ask a little bit about the uh, RKL sneakers. I know um, we saw some sneak peeks and the 3D renditions already, but just wanted to ask if you could touch a little bit more on as far as uh, how how we're going to be able to use them in-game. And if they're going to be tradable and maybe a possible second collection in the works. Thanks. If you want, I can answer this one. I'm back. Um, Jump in there. You get a new tire? Yes. So I fix my tire. Like uh, I do everything on my own. That's how I roll. Um, about the it's sneakers. Like a NASCAR pit stop. Yes, <laughs> it was a bit longer than like the five seconds, but anyway, uh, all good now. About the, the sneakers, actually, they are already tradable. Like, they are, they are NFTs. So for everyone that doesn't know, um, last uh, August, September, I think it was August, we launched the first uh, line of uh, digital sneakers. That was the, the RumbleCon sneaker uh, collection. And um, in there, we have, uh, we have several wearables that are going to be wearables in-game that anyone can, like, can trade, can wear. That's, uh, it's really just the first, uh, the first design and the first uh, run of sneakers that we've, um, that we've released. And they have been designed by Sick Pencil. 
we released them initially for our early adopters. Like you got them for free based on the the cons that you held, and um, something that we uh, that the re reception was very good. And actually, we still see on a daily like a daily basis trading volume on them. So you can go on on OpenSea and you type Rumble Kong uh, League sneakers, is it? And then you find some some unique uh, sequence designs in there. Um, so to answer your question, yes, they will be tradable. Um, there won't be any impact on boosts or anything that has an has an impact on game performance. Um, the only thing that might happen with sneakers, not specifically with this collection, but with sneakers in general, is that they might have um, visual uh, effects or visual aspects that that look cool or have a like have a have an impact on like the visual um, feel of the game. But uh, we won't make them uh, like impact or boost or any like any any statistic of your kong so when it comes to um, future collection definitely so end of last year we had a collaboration with uh, with under armor on the, um, the steph curry uh, curry flow sneaker which also has been digitalized and is uh, is already available um, and we will be a will be a wearable in the um, in the game once we are live. So this is already available, can be traded, can be purchased on OpenSea, and in the future as well. Like we definitely want to have other um, lines of sneakers, either RKL branded or with partners. So it's definitely in the plan to have a to have something for all of us sneaker heads out there. Hell yeah, man! Thanks. Answers my question. Thank you, guys. Thanks for coming up. Yeah, thanks. You got to have the sneakers to match your Kong, right? I mean, I think that's the key. You got to. Do you match the sneakers with your Kong, or do you go for different ones? For Because I'm thinking camo sneakers with camo fur is going to look not great. Well, you won't even see it. I was going to say, you're going to blend <laughs> in perfectly. <laughs> I'll just rack up points. It'll be invisible. So I think I'm going to have to match it with something else. I need to get a fashion advice. You need a styler. Yeah, you can get a couple. You can get a couple of different pairs of sneakers, and then you can mix and match. Yeah, change at half time. Awesome. Well, thanks for that one, Charlie. And I think next up we've got Emilio. What's your RumbleCon question? Uh, hey guys, how are you? Yeah, good. Buddy. How are you? Good, good. Um, I didn't really have much of a question. Just more. Um, something to say to the community that I'm kind of in the works of um, starting my own club at RumbleCon and I've already got like the whitelist and stuff going but would definitely like to have more team members involved so if anyone wanted to go ahead and start building with me I'm open to like, really anyone coming on board sharing their ideas and you know maybe collaborating together and see what we can um, build um, just as a team it's really nice going ahead and seeing all these updates and stuff guys and I can't wait to see everyone at nyc so yeah guys anyone want to message me dm i'm always down to just talk go celtics baby <laughs> but i like let's say you can have your you can have your minute to shine like pitch us pitch us a team like uh tell us more about your your club yeah so um i really did have um a vision of going ahead and creating a like an overall brand, right? So I think I really wanted to create something where I have an ecosystem that's centered around um, like our token, right? And then with um, having access to their ecosystem, I wanted to do something where, you know, we offer in-person events where you get to go to um, NBA games in your hometown because obviously everyone here is from different places. Um, I wanted to do volunteer opportunities where we can go out and, you know, get together as, you know, whoever's on our team and community. So it gives us that in-person feel to be with each other and interact because, you know, without, but with COVID not being able to see people, I think that's really a good focus right now. And then I was even thinking down the line of incorporating something with a brand, like maybe opening up your own Rumble Kong club gym or arcade or restaurant that's really centered around like our avatars. And obviously, you know, the, other stuff with jerseys and things like that but i really wanted to make it a a worldwide thing that's centered around um the ecosystem that gets access to in-person events and things of that nature so that's kind of what i had and wanted to do and you know anyone else who has ideas kind of wanted to do something like that yeah, just super cool thanks for sharing yeah, that's awesome yeah. i love it 
just quickly on that as well, Emilio. So if you know, uh, feel free to direct message me with uh, your vision, a bit about a bit about what you want to do and who you're looking mm-hmm. for and what sort of cons you're looking for as well. Because I'm putting together stuff for all the clubs that are building, so that it can be used as like a go-to. Anyone looking for a club, go on there and take a look at what what they think they want to build, what they want to help with, and then it'll put you in contact cool. with the people. So yeah. feel free to message me with that information. And I'll try and put them the right people your way. That would be amazing, Vapor. Yeah, I already went down and uh, have your email, so I'll definitely be in contact with you. I think that that's great. You know, and I wanted to make one comment about um, you, Vapor. Just ever since you became the community manager, like I always definitely believed in Rumble Kong, but I think you were like a great touch in adding because ever since then, you know, like the team's taking feedback, always providing the updates, and you're always seconding the update so if you case you miss something it's there in the discord so i think like now everyone who isn't even in the community can really see you know especially with all the updates that's going on that it's like getting really 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 exciting and i don't think it's a coincidence that it has to do with our team just expanding so to everyone like it's really exciting to see and really happy to be a part of something that's so great and amazing so thanks so much man it means a lot I appreciate that, Amelia. Is this uh, is this club got a name yet, or have you not decided? Yeah, I did. Um, you know, there was a there's a few um, things that I had thrown around, but I think the one that I was going to go with is um, Toronto Air Kong. Uh, that's uh, kind of what I was thinking. I was hoping you had that six tie in there because that's <laughs> all I think of when you come up. <laughs> Yeah, we have to incorporate something with Toronto in here, you know? So, <laughs> love it. Well, thanks for coming up, mate. Yeah. Toronto yeah, Air Kongs, coming yeah. soon. Thanks for the exposure, guys. I really who you got, who you got in the game tonight? I think you already okay. said it. I think, I, think, I think Golden State will take game one, but I, I like Celtics taking the series in seven. I do. And that's hard coming from a Raptors fan, you know? So, I like it. I like Tatum. He's a beast. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll let someone else talk, but I really appreciate you guys giving me that space to kind of go ahead and share my vision and all the clubs building is really exciting. So I'll let someone else go, but thanks for everything, guys. No, don't worry. I appreciate it. And honestly, if anybody else has got the same vision up, just uh, come up and uh, you can come and have a chat. But uh, next up we have Ruud. Uh, what was your RumbleCon question? Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, <clears throat> Toronto, that's a great sports town. If you guys haven't been talking about basketball, um, it's awesome there. But uh, I was going to come on with a goblin joke, um, but I, I figured I couldn't do that voice. Um, no, goblins, please. <laughs> <laughs> so goblins, goblins, straight goblins, straight away. I was going to have that, I was gonna have that music in the background um, uh, going, but... But no, I am calling in from Atlas. I'm actually in the concubator right now, and I'm trying to figure out exactly what I'm supposed to do. He's already in. You were I just, a I just found the it. shit. <laughs> I was going to see if I could squeeze anything out of you guys. But um, now, in another rumor I saw on a post, um, I can't remember exactly who it was, but they had a picture with CP3. A little bit of gossip, a little bit of news, saying there was a conversation that had any, anything there. Actually, it was a. Uh, it's um. It's Darren. What's his name? Um. I don't know his um. His handle. He might be even on here. Um. But maybe. Yeah, I'll find the tweet. Maybe two Ed Andrix, you can you can pin the tweet. But actually, we have nothing. Like we saw it, we were surprised as well. Like uh, it's it's a nice coincidence. Like CP3 must have spoken at like a I don't know university or so. So maybe if he's listening, maybe he not CP3, but uh, maybe Darren, if he's listening, can um, give us a bit of insights because, like, we want to know more as well. <laughs> yeah, no, totally. Um, so uh, in looking at, uh, I'm going to be there at um, NFT NYC. Um, I, I can't. Ha- have there been any details put out in terms of how we get in, and can we bring anybody? Um, th- things of so that actually, nature. Uh, I don't think I've seen anything. Yeah, no, no, we haven't actually on purpose. We haven't, uh, we haven't shared all the details yet because there are some open items that are actually exactly about this, like how open or close do we want to have the event? 
um, personally, or like in the team, we want to have it um, have it uh, like accessible to all the Kongs. But then beyond that, we have to see how we can like how we can make it as open as possible. But I think it would be cool, like as the the opportunity is there, to make something where like Kongs and uh, and uh, plus one or so can come and stop by. Like the the evening itself, like it's going to be the twenty second of June. It's actually in three weeks. It's uh, it's, it's coming uh, coming closer, and um, we're going to do some 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 stuff around the event. Like we're going to have some some activities. Like it's a cool venue actually. Like uh, it's like six twenty Loft and Garden in New York. Like uh, you've seen the pictures. We gave some teasers there, and um, it's going to be more like a like a casual evening get together like from late afternoon to evening and uh, it's it's all about like uh, celebrating sport web 3 and uh, rkl so it's going to be our rkl irl event and uh, we're very exciting we're very excited about it so, so you can expect more information in like uh more in the ne- within the next week hopefully so by end of this week so by tomorrow actually we uh, we're locking down the, the budget and uh, all the activities around and then we can start sharing more about it like how to get in. Um, for this, actually, we're talking to a company called Token Proof that they can help us yeah. like the validation of Kongs. Um, they're also doing this for Apefest. And um, they are like the cool guys overall. Like we met them a couple of months ago and we were like, uh, hey, we're going to do something at NFT NYC. Is there something that we can do? And um, like they, are, they have Kongs as well that they are that interested in, in helping us there. We, we set it up internally already. We just have to um, like share the information of the how, when, what, and uh, who yeah um the one thing on that um token proof thing like i i got that alert on the um on the ape fest if you guys um maybe can give a little more information just with all of the thievery that's going on like i'm always so skeptical of attaching anything to anything like i didn't feel like they did a good job like actually explaining what to do there and what's real or fake but um uh, so that could... I, so obviously I, I can't like i don't know like I, I could not do as good as a job as token proof to explain what it's doing. I know the team actually they were like the, the teams they're the, the real deal. Like they were doing some of the like the COVID QR code verification like uh, before like Web three and then they they um, they were on Web three already in NFTs and they changed completely the, the direction that they went to and they used this technology to do something that is around like wallet verification and uh, actually something where you don't have to like log in with your wallet anywhere like at the event itself. So it's it's quite slick. Um they have a QR code that's like scrambled every couple of seconds and you can you have to just set it up at home and like you can do it right now already and then um you are good to go as long as the NFT stays in the wallet that you initially connected with. So it's it's pretty <coughs> pretty straightforward. Um I've done it uh like actually earlier today and um it uh, it worked fine so i just had to link the wallet like i linked my ledger um just for reading and then i was good to go so it's uh, we're gonna like when we when we announce it we're gonna give more information like a proper how to and some like the steps to do but uh i found it quite um, straightforward okay cool all right thanks guys hi there can you guys hear me yeah go go for it man how's it going what's up, hi, this is chris. hey this is chris from rampart cons uh what's up guys um, thanks for all the updates. You guys uh, have been killing it the last few weeks, so I appreciate that very much. Um, I want to talk about two fun pieces of functionality. Um, so, uh, in my mind, I've been playing with the concept of a, of a equipment manager for the club. And if uh, Kongs came on board and they didn't have sneakers, the the club could provide them with sneakers to play um, in a game or in a tournament. Um, will that be possible? And then two, um, in today's, uh, I mean, in this week's um, uh, club meeting, um, we brought up the concept of uh, Kongs either requesting or bidding on their jersey number. Um, and can we get that in the works as well? For the for the first question about the sneakers of renting mm-hmm. them. There's a, mm. there's a cool team. They're called RenFT. You should check them out. Like they're doing uh-huh. um, they're doing a renting protocol. Like you can find them on on Twitter. And uh-huh. uh, actually, uh, Nick and uh, Nas, they are the co-founders of this protocol. Uh-huh. So they are specialized on this kind of stuff. I love this and, shit. Um, but well, um, how well, what I, yeah, yeah. What I was saying though was that 
if the club itself had sneakers that it could just lend to the roster if it needed them uh, for the gameplay. So it was sort of like the equipment manager was in house and was like, "Hey, you need sneakers? I have sneakers for you." Um, but it wasn't exactly a renting concept. But we could look at that too. Oh, on, mm-hmm. the, on the club level, I don't know. It's, it's, a, it's a question, mm-hmm. it's a technical question mm-hmm. um, yeah. that I do not want to answer because then I'm going to get angry DMs from NAS because <laughs> I'm giving information in the wrong way. But let us let us let us um, check internally, and we're going to join the next uh, club meeting as well, and we can update on this. Yeah, and then the jersey question as well. Being jersey able to, is, uh, yeah. yeah, being able to uh, bid or uh, request a jersey number, number specific for your con. Yeah, so actually, this is something as well that we talked about yesterday because Vapor as well he mentioned that it came up in the in the, mm-hmm. in the club meeting, and uh, we found the idea quite cool. Uh, we just uh, we have to see, like it's 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 on the backlog. We have to see how we're gonna realize it. Actually, we're gonna start using the community page again more actively for this kind of stuff to have it all in one space and not uh, bombard our devs with one of one requests, but then have them all compiled. But this is something that internally we all found very cool, and uh, we'll see how we can how we can make this happen. We don't know how quickly or when, but uh, yeah. it's cool. It's a cool feature. Yeah, I think awesome. it's just a, a matter of time, really. Um, it, it won't necessarily be one of those high priority ones, but it'll be something we kind of are all in agreement with um, at, at some point. So, awesome! Thanks, guys. Awesome! Thanks a lot, bunch. All right, so have we got anybody else that is wanting to ask any questions, or is that pretty much it? Are we wrapped up. Got a couple in the Discord we can probably touch on. Uh, there's quite a few, but um, just going back a little bit. One of them is: How do you expect updates to happen once the alpha version comes out? Can we expect weekly, monthly, etc.? And any timeline from the code alpha beta? So no, we, we haven't announced anything on like how that timeline is necessarily going to look. Um, but I mean, after we release an alpha, there's going to be pretty consistent updates in one way or another. Uh, moving forward as things build toward, you know, beta and then real full game release. So um, there's not necessarily like a set time frame on different things. Um, it's it's that's, that's more so on our game dev side um, with our, our product team of, of, you know, based on specific features, what that might look like, uh, when it's time to roll certain things out, how we need to adjust things as we're gaining feedback on, on core loop, on, you know, economy, all these different moving pieces. Um, so... Next one on the club NFT, would they be able to get an email notification for new requests? Uh, that's a pretty interesting feature um, that we don't have right now. I'll um, I'll forward that over to to our dev team and to Naz to see if that's something we could add pretty pretty easily. Because um, I, I actually agree, I think that'd be pretty nice. Let's see what else we've got here. A lot of a lot of alpha requests. <laughs> my mic will just permanently stay off now <laughs> perfect um, can you speak on how Kong owners can earn potential passive income via staking renting Kongs or any other method of passive income so yeah I mean renting we've talked a lot about um, if you recall the Kong paper and we, we've touched on different components um, there is going to be full renting lending capabilities through through reNFT uh, built into RKL both on the club level on the player level um, where you know say you even have two Kongs you can rent one where then you're filling out your team um, it's going to be more so kind of branded right where it's not necessarily going to be like defined as a rental but you know using a player um, there's going to be full rev share baked in everything's going to be trustless and automated um, ie like putting up a kong for use with predetermined rev share splits all of this is being baked in um, so there's going to be absolutely those abilities um, staking is something we haven't really touched on purposely because there's a lot of thinking nas is doing around the actual economy you know traditional staking is really just you know uh, a, a future dump in the way probably most people are used to it. So anything we do there is going to definitely be um, built for the next 10, 15, 20 years and beyond rather than, hey, stake something here and um, (laughs) basket a bunch of free money that's dumped on people later kind of thing. So I think a lot of staking uh, methodology and 
today's climate, especially where the space is uh, currently, is, is very flawed. And you're seeing a lot of a lot of things play out even, you know, within um, the other side and, and on their DAO forum. If, if you've been following a lot of what's happening there, um, there's, there's a lot of similar inline thinking with us. Sorry, I was just reading the comments in the in the pinned uh, tweet from Darren. <laughs> I guess it's a, it's a good read. Like the GIF reactions are good. I recommend everyone like having a look at the tweet. Um, Love it. Uh, one question I just saw pop up: merch. I need some. That's what it says. Um, merch. Yes, there's going to be more merch. Obviously. If you know us, if you followed the previous drops, um, we're, we're never going to, those designs are never coming back. Those are the OG designs, but there's going to be some cool things, some more unique pieces, uh, exciting stuff coming soon. And there'll be also something at, um, at NFT NYC for everyone. So. So we have to, we have to bridge a bit the time because uh, we have one last uh, update. But it's getting pushed live now, um, so we have to wait a little bit. Um, so, Vapor, do you have any goblins? <laughs> why, why would you do that to me? <laughs> I'm sick. Of it. The thing is, I feel the worst thing about it is I feel bad because Ape Antics messaged me like, "What do you think about goblins?" And yeah. I just replied back like, "Straight up pump and dump." Yeah, it was like zero point <laughs> three or something at the time, and he was like, "Goblins?" Question mark. He was like, "Pump and dump." I was like, "Ah." Oh. So I'm gonna frame like, that as a minute. I was confident it was a pump and dump, and then like every time I see it ticking up, I'm like, "Oh no, ah." Oh. It's so the thing is though, I just don't I don't get it. I don't understand it. And I'm not even gonna pretend I do. No, but it's like uh, I was looking at OpenSea at the top like the like if you look at the top collections over the last twenty four hours, like uh it's it's a weird state, the NFT space right now. Like they have like uh, you have Goblin Town Pre -mint Goblin, meta. Goblin Girls, like Zombie Town, then there's the poop it NFT or something, like some baby goblins. It's all about like goblins. And uh, like we will see what what the narrative is next week. Like the elves that try to get there. Um, actually, my bet was that at some point it's going to be Night Town or something because like if you have goblins and uh, and elves, you need knights as well. But um, you never know. Like this is actually, but it's also the beauty of the space that you don't know what's going to happen. Like it's so unpredictable and um, it's uh, it's uh, it's crazy. So we're going to see what what's happened. Have have you seen the I'll do it NFT? I think that got to like a, a yes. point seven five floor at one point. And I showed one of my friends who's not into like crypto or NFTs. And I showed him that and I was like, by the way, this is worth about a thousand pounds. And he was like, I just don't even understand what is going on. Yeah, so if everyone just... if anyone wants to know if anyone wants to know why the why the mass adoption is getting slow on NFTs, they just have to look at the, the front page of OpenSea of trending. I think we've got something going live now for all of you to check out. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna we can, your uh, tweet, tweet is sent. There we we go. can put out a tweet and we can pin it again. We can put yeah, like we'll a short announcement on on discord and then i think we leave it at this like uh we can we can leave everyone like discover a little bit more about atlas and have a look around and uh, and learn more about it and um yeah so i if, love it uh, if ape antics wants to do his uh his outro yeah thank you once again open, for joining us for open. another rkl <laughs> twitter spaces as always we'll be reposting this on our spotify twitter and youtube channels so subscribe to all of those for the latest rkl updates make sure to enter our art contest running this month stay calm strong and we'll see you on the next one